It's Christmas in July once again for SolidWorks users, as it was announced just last week that the SolidWorks 2026 preview is live. This means early access to the latest and greatest SolidWorks features in beta format, months before the official release. And with the online preview option, you don't even have to install anything. So stick around if you want to find out if you qualify to participate in the preview program and how to get started. Now before you go asking me what's new for this year, please keep in mind that just like previous years, the SOLIDWORKS 2026 preview program is under a non-disclosure agreement. This means I'm not allowed to tell you what's new this year until the pre-release version drops, which will likely be sometime in August. So the only way to find out what's new right now is to participate in the preview program. You can do this by going to SOLIDWORKS.COM support slash preview and choosing to download the beta or use the preview online option to test it out without an install. If you choose the preview online option, you'll be prompted to log in, and once you do, a checkbox will be presented with the non-disclosure agreement. Check this box, choose a preferred language if needed, and click launch, and SOLIDWORKS will be deployed in a virtual environment right there in your internet browser. Now unfortunately, I can't say or show much more than that because again, NDA, but this was a pretty slick experience in my opinion, and you're still given access to everything in the 2026 beta version without installing anything. I was honestly pretty surprised by the responsiveness, and for those of you wondering, you are in fact able to upload your own files to work on them, and then you can download the modified versions in 2026 format if you'd like to. Now, while I personally recommend the online preview for most users, the legacy approach for the preview program is of course to download and install the beta like you would a typical release of SOLIDWORKS. Clicking the download beta button will bring you to the downloads page, where once again, you'll need to log in. Then use the drop down to swap over to 2026 if needed and beta should be available to you. Accept the license agreement, click the download button, and you're on your way to installing 2026. Now a couple important notes about installation. First and foremost, starting with the 2026 version, Windows 10 is not supported, so you will need Windows 11 to run it locally. Additionally, based on some feedback that's already been reported, it's highly recommended to not install the beta side by side with an existing copy of SOLIDWORKS connected due to potential licensing issues. And personally, unless you already have a lot of admin experience with SOLIDWORKS, I would recommend avoiding an install of the beta at all if you already have another version of SOLIDWORKS installed, just to be safe, because there are a lot of details you have to keep track of to avoid mixing the beta install with any official installs, and it can get very complicated very quickly. So with all that in mind, if you just want to check out what's new this year, and you're not a hardcore SOLIDWORKS power user, I highly, highly recommend using the online preview to keep things simple, and you should still have a very similar experience overall. Now once you're logged in or installed, you can use the what's new documentation to explore the top enhancements for 2026 or dig further into your favorite subject. We can't show it here yet, of course, but you can access the what's new documentation for SOLIDWORKS 2026 in the same way you would for previous years. Click the help icon, then what's new, then HTML or PDF, depending on your preference. Or if you're feeling froggy, just start messing around in the user interface and look for the interactive symbol that appears next to the features that are new for this year. Now to address the elephant in the room. The SOLIDWORKS preview program is limited to users who are on active subscription. So this means if you've let your subscription lapse, or if you're using a non-commercial version of SOLIDWORKS, or if you don't have SOLIDWORKS yet and you're just now checking it out, you may run into this notification that says subscription confirmation needed, or SOLIDWORKS 2026 online preview requires active subscription. If you run into this notification and you're convinced that your subscription is active and up to date, reach out to your reseller's technical support team and they should be able to get you squared away. I've run into this myself where a glitch in the matrix made SOLIDWORKS think I was off subscription, so it may be an easy fix. That being said, if you don't have access to a commercial license with active subscription and you're not interested in paying for one, you're unfortunately stuck being patient until the pre-release to hear more about what's new this year. But hey, August is right around the corner. A couple final notes for those of you who are new to testing out a beta version of SOLIDWORKS. Number one, never use the beta for production work. This is just begging for something to go terribly wrong, and the files you create in the 2026 beta will not be compatible with the full releases of 2026 coming down the line. So don't mix play and production. Additionally, always save backup copies of all SOLIDWORKS files before opening them in 2026 beta. They get converted automatically when you open them and you don't want to accidentally convert your only copy of a production file into a beta file. Ask me how I know. And finally, if you do opt to install the beta, make sure to install it as a separate installation rather than upgrading a previous version. 
This is the only way to keep things separate. Now one last final reminder that SOLIDWORKS beta is under NDA, so we can't discuss it here, but there's a whole thriving community that you can join as part of the preview program where you can discuss 2026. And you can request to join from right here on the main preview page. Here you'll find hundreds of beta testers just like you who are looking to discuss the new features and updates and report any bugs as they find them. So check it out and get in on the conversation. Now, go forth and conquer with SOLIDWORKS 2026. And be sure to keep an eye on our What's New in SOLIDWORKS series, because we're going to be rolling out all sorts of exclusive new lessons starting in August once that NDA is lifted. And if you didn't catch it last year, be sure to check out our videos on What's New in SOLIDWORKS 2025 too, to make sure you're up to speed with last year's release. For now, thanks for checking out What's New in SOLIDWORKS, and I'll see you in the preview community.